So inspired by the likes of Rebecca Malope, Benjamin Dubé, and Joyous Celebration, gospel artist Masefako's recent single titled A Worshipper's Heart is dedicated to the steadfast principles she holds with her faith. The Tsanin-born artist was previously employed at Greater Tsanin Municipality for 13 years and later resigned with the mandate of pursuing her career in the gospel music industry and also fashion designer. She has won an award at the 10th Ngoma Awards for Best Songwriter. Asefako joins me now in studio for more on her current single and she is also going to be performing for us a little bit later. Good evening to you. Welcome to Newsnight. Good evening to you too and to the listeners out there. Thank you so much for having My me here. My absolute pleasure. So I want to talk a little bit about your inspiration to pursue what you call your purpose uh, in, in gospel music. I had one of your inspirations, uh, Bishop Benjamin Dubé in studio not too long ago and he is mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. I completely understand why you would uh, take inspiration from him. Yeah. But let's just talk through why you had this deep surety that gospel music was your purpose? Look, I started singing from a very young age. I grew up in a very Christian family. I'm a born again Christian as well. And um, growing up, you know, would sing in Sunday school, choirs, youth choirs, your youth. And, you know, I was later promoted to the church choir, which is the main or the big choir. And then later on, um, we went to like to serving into the worship team now and you know all of that journey just i think it was just uh, reassuring me you know just to say girl you are called for this now you have to pursue this like and more than anything you know when you know you are called to do something mm -hmm. and you know you just trying to duck and dive am i really like really 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 cold but it's for inevitable this? but yeah so it got to a point where i i, I had to now surrender mm -hmm. like yeah now this is the time looking at my inspirations they have done it okay i can do it too 100 you know. representation yeah. is so important yeah um you come across so so calm uh so soft spoken but listening to your music you are a powerhouse <laughs> yeah. um how do you manage that dynamic because we were talking with camera and i too am somewhat of an introvert mm. and and people don't expect that yeah. because i am on the platform that i'm on and i'm speaking to people all the yeah. time mm. um but i think it's important to showcase that even if you are shy even if you are an introvert you are still able to go for your dreams yeah definitely mm. yeah. and how do you how do you and balance that um you know this is me talking but once i, I get on the stage you know there's, <laughs> you there's a different else. yeah i don't know I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know but something just pushes me to to go harder and you know yeah i, I guess also it's the love that i have for the mm. music and also maybe the inspiration like all my my inspi my inspos were just people who mean business on stage, you know, mm. so. Well, yeah, we're excited to see you perform a little bit later and to showcase that other side of you. We're excited to see it. But it's interesting that you actually worked in municipality for 13 years. Talk to us about choosing to walk away from 13 years of stability, of receiving a paycheck every month, to becoming a freelancer in a very difficult industry and, and pursuing your dreams. It's not an easy task, it's not an easy feat yeah. to remove yourself from comfortability and pursue your dreams. Why did you do that? And trust me, yeah, doing that was one of the most difficult thing ever, like having to come to that, um, you know, decision. Um, but I guess it, it was the void in me. I served, trust me, I loved my work, I loved my job. For 13 years, you can see, like, I've, I would have quitted in, like, a year or two. Mm. But I stayed there because I loved my work. But there was this void in me. There was this emptiness that mm. I always felt, no, man, this, I, I still need to fulfill this. There's, there's still Masfago, the singer, and she must you know, find a way of going to pursue this. And, yeah. yeah. And it was in both the singing and the um, uh, designing, the fashion Yes, you're, so. you're, you're studying design as yes, well. Yes, so yes. have you always been a creative? Have you always felt like this pull uh, for you to enter the creative space? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I grew up like that. Mm -hmm. I've always been a girly girl, you know. Um, I would want to change my, you know, changing of outfits. I would just, <laughs> I would buy it as it is and not get home. I have to cut it and, and reshape it and you know, customize it. it, make it my, yes, that, that's, 
uh, that, that's who I've always been. Beautiful. So yeah. I want to talk about um, your single. I think it was launched, uh, released in October, yeah. A Worshipper's Heart. Um, talk to us about the meaning of the song. You are also a very exceptional writer. You must be because you were awarded uh, for <laughs> writing music at the Ngoma Awards. But talk to us about the message of the song and what it is that you want it to speak to people about. Um, a Worshipper's Heart is basically a project that um, I felt like we are living in times where, you know, it's difficult. Everything, the economic state, yeah, everything. Yeah, there's a lot of just, challenges. Yeah, um, and I guess with that, we complain a lot. We are just, yeah, we just find ourselves always complaining about every other, everything that is happening. And then I just thought to myself, you know, we are forgetting something. We were created to worship, and, you know, I just want to remind people out there that you know um, actually we were created to worship and this is the lifestyle that I, I just want to put much emphasis on you know let's worship and worship and worship beautiful you know? yeah so you you're going to be performing a different song for us shortly talk to us about what we can expect in the in the upcoming performance besides being shocked at the difference between <laughs> you sitting here and the amazing voice you're going to hear later <laughs> okay the song that i'm going to be performing is called Lidito Lam Jeso. This is a song that says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. I just drew it. It's a very simple song drawn from the scriptures that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Righteous run to it and they are safe. As I've just indicated to you that yo, we, we're living in times whereby we are just running. We don't <laughs> even know where we are running to. But mm. I just wanted to remind people that no, let's run back to the Lord and that's where we'll be safe. 100%. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing in your journey and I wish you all of the best. Thank you so much for My having me and thanks pleasure. to the listeners. <laughs> My pleasure. That was gospel artist Masefako Malachi and she will be performing for us right after this break. Stay with us.